question because you can't kill Jesus since Jesus is not really a corporeal being, is not really made of flesh and bones. Jesus was incorporeal. He was purely a spirit. This is the, the theology of the Docetists. Do you understand? But apart from them, the Ebionites, who were not um, from the um, group that later became the majority and um, considered orthodox, they, despite their deviances in, for example, they thought that Joseph and uh, Mary had um, intimate re um, an intimate relationship and that gave birth to Jesus. <clears throat> Despite those sorts of heresies and deviances, they did not deny the crucifixion. They accepted the crucifixion, they accepted the divinity of Jesus. All the sources that we have from the first century talks about the crucifixion of Jesus. All the sources that we have from the first century talks about people following Jesus, perceiving him as God, believing in his resurrection, including his disciples, though we may not have uh, the original writings from him. But that's okay, because we don't have the original writings of Imam Shafi either. But you do not, do you deny the reliability of Al-Um, Kitab Al-Um? And another, and another thing as well, about the names of the Gospels. Now, in ancient times, okay, it is common to write in the name of another if you are his student. Did you know, good morning, that the books of Imam al-Shafi were not penned by Imam al-Shafi, including al-Um, Kitab al-Um? Many Muslims don't realize this. <laughs> Kitab al-Um was not penned by the Imam himself. It was penned by his disciple, his student. Likewise, many of the books of the New Testament were penned by the disciples and the students of the followers of Jesus, the first followers of Jesus. Okay? Anyway, I think my time is up. Sorry for exceeding the time limit. I do apologize sometimes I do get a bit long-winded I apologize for that but um, I think I shall pass the mic now over to so basically Ibn Anwar by going back to Islam is deluding himself since the crucifixion is still the best attested ancient event and every historian still confirms the event as having absolutely taken place outside of the radical skeptics that didn't believe Jesus even existed there is no historian that can deny the crucifixion based on the historical data. So one wonders why Ibn Anwar thought it to be a good idea to go back to a prophet he called the Antichrist, a book he called Ahistorical, a religion he called self-refuting, and opposing an apostle that he said accurately prophesied about Muhammad being Satan coming as an angel of light. What happened, Ibn Anwar? What, other than your emotional attachment to Muhammad, made you go back to defend a historically false claim? We can see now Ibn Anwar was right about the crucifixion, yet is terribly wrong for going back to Islam again.